everybody. Um, it's here Sunday morning um, in uh, beautiful Virginia, nice and humid today. Um, but in today's video, we're going to be going over a couple uh, issues I had yesterday with my truck here. Um, I was driving um, yesterday, had to run into town, and all of a sudden, my truck just shut off um, and I wasn't sure what was going on um, fortunately I was in a spot where I could pull over uh, get out of the roadway um, so anyways I started looking around a little bit at you know what potentially could be the problem what I ended up finding out was that a fuse had busted and I'll show you which fuse it was. Down under here in the cabin fuse box, um, this one right here, number, uh, I think it's number 20, uh, number 30, and it ha is a 30 amp fuse. Um, what had actually happened was the, there was well, this wire right here from the previous owner was plugged into that um, and that ran three LED lights on the headlight here um, right here so it had started raining yesterday a little bit um, and the switch for those is right here well it had started raining got dark and everything so i turned that on at the time i didn't uh you know draw any um, conclusion as to that's what was wrong or that's what the issue was however the truck shut off so anyways that fuse was popped uh ended up being um just at that wire so somewhere in that uh electrical wire i guess is a short i'm not really sure at this point i haven't looked into it but what we're going to be doing one of the things we're going to be doing today is wiring these three lights on either headlight into the running lights um, these little halos uh, light up uh, when your running lights are on and another light down here anyways I'm gonna be wiring these three into that so I don't have that switch inside um, the previous owner uh, I've had this truck for about two years now previous owner had done that for whatever reason I'm not really sure so that's one thing we've got on our list to do today. We are going to get started by doing the headlights in my 99 F350. Um, this is, I picked this up for a very good price, um, but it's nothing fancy. Wind up windows, no power, locks, everything is manual in this truck minus uh you know the transmission but it's been a good truck to me i love it and um you know we'll go from there all right so uh, we're gonna take a look at these headlights here i can't remember what the wiring is uh, and i'm gonna have to set this down because This is how I have to jack up my uh, hood because uh, it's kind of sketch, but these things need replacing, which I haven't done yet. So uh, it looks like we've got the wiring right here. Um, I might have to pull out this headlight. I was hoping not to, so I might be able to figure out 
a way not to pull out these headlights. Um, I apologize, I don't have a camera stand or anything at this point. Um, that's one of the things I have to run out to town today is to uh, purchase one. Um, that will make the video much more steady and um, be a lot easier for me to film content for you guys. So um, let me get started on this and I will keep you posted. All right guys, so this is the update I have for you. Um, I think it will be easier if I just pull the headlights out. Um, with this, uh, I believe this is a 2014 F350 bumper. Um, but with the fitment of this, there's a gap here and I, I can fix this gap. I just haven't taken the time to, uh, you know, grind out these holes so I can pick the bumper up more. But it kind of works out good for this video because if you can see there are two Phillips head screws right there. Those have to come out and then all that's um, next is, if it'll focus, there's a clip there and a clip right there. And this headlight will pop out. So I'm going to do that now and um, I will see you back in a bit. All right, honestly, that came out pretty easy. So it will be a lot easier um, to do this with the headlights out. So as you can see, um, here's all the wiring. Um, I'm assuming uh, black typically is hot and white is the ground. Um, I will double check uh, before I you know, finish up because I'm not sure what these. But um, I will probably just tap these wires into these other running lights. Um, so it'll make it nice and easy, quick. And the wiring on this, is, the previous owner did is just... Horrendous. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to clean this up a bit and you know, we'll go from there. But um, yeah, should be should actually be pretty straightforward and easy. Um, so there's really, with the setup I have right now, there's no way I can really video uh, without a stand and I just don't have one here. So I will show you guys the finished product, uh, you know, when I'm done with these uh, wiring on this side. And then I'm just gonna repeat the same thing for the other side. All right, just an update here. Um, I did clip this right here. Um, the two wires, they teed up, I guess, sort of, and they ran down through here over to the other headlight. Um, and I did see right here, you can see the wires uh, were frayed and that's what was causing the short. Um, it could have caused a fire. It looks like the wires were melted pretty bad. So, um, good thing it was on a fuse. That way we didn't cause any more damage. I'm going to pull these wires up. All right, so I'm pulling this right now for sure. And here's what we came up with. <laughs> I was wrong. Uh, black on here was the ground. Uh, not power so anyways uh, the black is ground and this was running all to it you can see it and then all this other wiring just a mess of wiring and I still haven't even traced it back inside the cabin this is the power wire which will run to the switch and then over to the fuse box um, anyways it's a mess it needed to come out and it is coming out so uh, I'll get you back when I wire this stuff back together um, and then we will have functioning lights with one uh, running light switch uh, the way it's supposed to be so peace guys this is all the wiring that came out from under the dash right there that was all under the dash just ridiculous um, just a note 
Like if you're gonna wire something up, try to use the least amount of wiring. Um, it's not only is it more, you know, potential short issues, but it just makes it easier and makes everything look cleaner when you run less wire. So I don't know why they didn't tie these into the running lights right inside the headlight. It beats me, but maybe they wanted a switch in the cabin. Don't know. And uh, just a side note while I'm doing this, these things, little focus, are absolutely amazing. If you uh, got them off of eBay or Amazon, I can't remember, but they're like 20 bucks for this pack and it shrinks. And then the, uh, actually the inside there, um, little focus, actually um, kind of solders itself to the wires. Super cool. And there we go. Got both of them done, wired in and ready to go so this is all the wiring that we just eliminated right there i'm always happy about that to get uh you know potential uh shorts out of the way like i did yesterday shorted me out left me stranded for a couple minutes while i had to figure out what was going on so um this part of the video is done. I'm going to head out to the store soon, pick up some supplies, and pick up a holder for the camera so um, I don't have to be holding the camera itself. I think it'll make everything a whole lot easier. Also, right here, it's like swelling up. I use this rag right here to uh, wipe off some sweat and Lately this year, my face has been super sensitive to stuff, so I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, I feel it swelling up. Um, so I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Did a quick shirt change, freshen up a little bit, uh, since I was sweating so bad earlier. Uh, doing the lighting. Um, I'm going to be taking this whole rig into uh, town today. Alrighty, and we're headed out the driveway. I just got out of Walmart. Get this. Some AC going. editing and stuff like that but uh, I can't because the lobby's closed due to COVID-19 so um, that shot that plan. Frappuccino I love these things they're good haven't had them in a while though
and just like that, we are home. Uh, you can see from uh, running around town, this is my uh, transmission temp. I don't know if it's gonna focus or not, but uh, it's under 106. neck unhooked and uh, some some more uh, content will be coming soon um, I don't think it'll be in this video but possibly in the next video um, this I kind of made um, I'm getting this correct angle here the uh, bracket here for this guide um, is just super thin so I'm gonna do some reinforcing uh, probably somehow connect uh, this to the winch itself it's just currently an L bracket but uh, whew, that's sometime this week um, this coming week get into that but other than that um, I think that'll probably wrap it up for this video guys thanks for watching um, please like and subscribe and I will catch you later peace